Hey, Mass Hire Metro North family. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to assume somebody has asked us to share our Office 365 calendar with them, and I'm going to show you how to do it in a few easy steps. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your Office 365 account at www.office.com. Enter in your credentials and then go to your Office 365 Outlook. And once you're inside your Outlook, you're going to go to Calendar. And you can see right over here on the left, I'm going to go to Calendar. All right. And now, if you come over here and you see Share, you're going to click that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to actually look for the person that you want to share the calendar with. In this case, I'm going to share it with myself because I'm actually, and there I am. Okay. Now, what we can do here is we can set the level of permissions for the person we're sharing the calendar with. Now, as you can see here, we're going to come to this little toggle button and we got some options. We've got can view when I'm busy, can view titles and locations, can view all details, can edit or delegate. So what we want for the purposes of sharing our calendar is we want to say can view all details. So we're just going to come right here. I'm going to click can view all details. And then I'm going to go ahead and click share. That was it. And look, it says people inside your organization. Um, and my name is now listed there. So that's how you're going to add uh, people uh, to your calendar sharing list. And make note that this is the easiest way to do it is through the Office 365 uh, portal like we just did. If you're running your local Outlook, uh, there's a few different steps, but just to make sure it gets done and done properly, you want to do it uh, through www.office.com and then in your calendar. So I hope this helped. I hope you're having a great day and thanks for watching.